something we're really passionate about. We're all passionate about, and it's something that Amy and I know all too well. Ralph Lauren and his team on a mission to fight cancer and provide top-notch care to an underserved community. To mark the end of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I had a chance to visit the center in Harlem to see how it is changing countless lives. It's really important to us that once somebody walks in the door, they understand that we're going to take care of them. For so many, like 40-year-old Annika Robinson, equal access to high quality and personalized care isn't always a given. I get this call that there's a situation, it's, it's problematic. Diagnosed with breast cancer over the phone by her doctor, Annika was shaken to the core. It was just devastating news. And I, and I said, why would he call me? Annika sought help elsewhere and found solace in the welcoming environment here at the Ralph Lauren Center for Cancer Care. When I met Dr. Villani, Come on in here. And when she said, you're going to be all right, you're going to be cured. And I just cried. Every year, the Ralph Lauren Center receives over 12,000 patients, 80% classified as part of an underserved community. I caught up with David Lauren, who sits on the board of trustees at the center, to learn more. Cancer doesn't discriminate, doesn't care who you are, so the treatment of it and the availability should not be either, right? There's a huge disparity between wealthy communities and, and poor communities. And uh, we're up on 124th Street um, in Harlem. And if you were to go 25 blocks south of here uh, to where I grew up, you would see that the cancer rates are completely different. I think people feel that if they're going to come here, um, they may survive and feel better. The center was established in 2003 after a meeting between David's father, fashion icon Ralph Lauren, and renowned physician Dr. Harold Freeman. The story that Dr. Freeman tells is he expected to leave and wait uh, for weeks or months for, for Ralph Lauren to respond. And at the end of the meeting, my dad just turned to him and said, I'm in. What do you need? How much? And Dr. Freeman gave him a number, and my father said, great, we're, we're going to support it, and he has ever since. What does that mean as his son? to know that your father is stepping up and well before it became fashionable yeah fashionable I didn't want to use that word um, but long before it was fashionable your father was doing this he galvanized the whole fashion industry together uh, and helped to create something called fashion targets breast cancer and then he created the pink pony fund and said every time that pony is pink on our products we're gonna raise money and awareness for the cause and today both of these um, these these initiatives have become incredibly successful and global. As being on the board, what are, what are your goals? The goals are to build on that, to, to really grow the Ralph Lauren Cancer Center into something that the community knows about and that they trust, but also to get involved with cancer all around the world. David, you hit it, trust. Trust is so, so imperative. Um, I was very fortunate to be at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center and for that to be aligned here. And I have to tell you, I'm walking around and seeing it's the same care here that they are receiving at Memorial Sloan Kettering. Care that includes the innovative patient navigation system, which the center credits for their high treatment completion rates and helps patients like Annika continue to thrive. When I walked in, I felt that I was going to be okay. It is an incredible comforting, comforting facility, and I learned something else, and it gets back to the idea of trust. When Ralph Lauren founded the center in partnership with Memorial Sloan Kettering 10 years ago, Ralph didn't want his name on it. He didn't want to draw attention to himself, but Dr. Freeman disagreed, saying it will give people a sense of trust, that it will make people feel like it's a place of quality. They did not, but even you were saying, we've lived here, and yep. now many people were familiar with that facility. You've been traveling all around the country this past month. Yep. And this is a concern with and, people. Well, you know, access to quality care absolutely impacts outcome. Mm -hmm. It does, and this is proof. All right, thanks. Hey, we got the crew from The Chew coming up next. Speechless.